a bunch of hats. So, my first big order of hats, my first and only order that I've ever gotten in my life of hats, and my first time ever making hats. So, let's see how this goes. Okay, so we have 80 of these hats. To me, these are like unstructured hats because if I take this thing out, they're flimsy. So they're not, uh, I guess, what are they called? Like dad hats? Um, they have a little uh, buckle at the back. And the logo for these is just going to be straight in the middle um, in white. So I'm going to go ahead and get on the phone with my Melco trainer, Josh, and he's going to help me walk through these. Um, we do have this piece, don't know the real name of it, um, it reminds me of a piece of a rocket ship or something like that, but I know I put this on the table and this is what I hoop the hats with, and then I have these things, this looks like some type of electric chair, medieval time thing, um, these, I have four of them, um, each Melco machine, the EMT 16X, comes comes with two. So you can always have another hat hooped and just ready to go on the machine. But I have four because I have two machines. So that's actually going to save a lot of time. Um, so i got to figure out how to use these things. Hey, so uh, I was so busy recording that video. And I forgot to mention that if you are interested in this machine, which is the Melco EMT 16X, if you could please call Todd Eggersman. His contact information is down below. And he is my Melco sales rep. I will get credit if you guys mention that you heard about them from me, Angela, on YouTube. Um, and Todd is such a nice guy and he'll help you out and answer any questions. There's no pressure at all. Um, so if you have any questions at all um, about the machine, just go ahead and reach out to Todd. All right, I'll put his information in the description. I do know we have to... Um, these hats now set up the machine for the hoops um but again i'll probably just let the milk trainer we'll go through that together so that you guys can see how to do it like i said it's my first time making hats especially for an order it's 80 hats and i hope i don't mess them up and these hats are from sns activewear um the company these hats are for they pay for them and ship them to me so that i can do them so oh this should be interesting let's get started Okay guys, so I have the design. It's not this unicorn design. I'm gonna show you guys how to load it. I do have two Melcos, so I can upload it to both machines at the same time. All I have to do is control click both the machines on the machine list side, and it has them both selected, and then I could uh, open the design. It'll load into both, the, both machines and have the settings synced up so I don't have to put the settings in the machine twice. Select both of them, and then choose file. Load design, and then we're gonna choose Angela Hat OFM, and then it popped in, and then so it is white, and then the red W A W A C F with wide angle cap frame. Okay. Two hundred seventy degrees so field. Y'all heard that? Two hundred seventy degrees so field. <laughs> All right, so what does that mean technically, Josh? There's Josh on my thread stand. So with the WACF cap frame, with a 270 degree field, you can do the front of the hat, and then without having to re-hoop, you can move it over and do a number on the side of the hat. Works really great for softball teams, anything like that. So really big sew field without having to re-hoop. Awesome, thanks, Josh. No problem. <laughs> Set up, and we have to now put on the cap, what is it thing called? The cap driver. Oh, this. It looks like, uh, this? Take off your, um, your rotary hook guard at the bottom there. With the black the piece. Screws. Okay. And then just slide that all the way back. Alright. And, and then, then just tighten up the, um, the knobs on the driver guide. Super tight. Probably. Yes. Alright, and then I put the black piece back on. Yes. That way we don't suck a hat in the rotary oak. Oh, that would suck. Alright, so that's yeah, on, and then I have to do the other one. Do not go number two. What am I doing? You'll have to loosen up, uh, loosen up the two uh, oh. thumb screws, yep. So, so loosen it first, guys, because when they, you get on the 
they're tightened. So loosen them first and then put them on. All the way over. Awesome. And then we can take off our uh, the the arms, the hoop arms. The arms are off. Now look. So this is the it's cap driver, right? <laughs> okay, so this is the cap driver. So the first time you use it, you want to oil the bearing in here. So I'm gonna put a drop of oil. Cool. Done. Isn't the color cool though? All right. Is this supposed to go under or over? It'll go, those tabs in the back will go over. And remember on those bolts, um, don't over tighten them. When you're putting these on, do not over tighten them. You don't want to break them. Gentle. Okay, cool. Is it two screws on these or just one? Yeah. Just two screws on those. Okay, so the other two that went here, just put them down somewhere else? Yep. Okay, so after you tighten it with your finger gently, then you use your Allen wrench and use one finger and tighten it till not till you can't tighten it anymore because that'd break it, but till you feel a tiny bit of resistance. Cool. Okay, so here's the second one again. You want to put oil in the barrel or whatever it's called, a drop of oil. And then do the same thing. The silver pole, because I don't use big words, goes through this hole <laughs> and then help you line it up. No, these holes don't line up at all. Not even close. You might, so you can move that thing left and right, the um, cap driver. So if the holes don't line up, just move the push the black bar. Until they line up. Time to put a hat. Oh. Alright, so this big old tannin looking thing. You just hook this up to a table, right? Yep. Other way though. Other way though. Got it. Make sure my crusty toes aren't in there. Hat hoop. Alright, so now on those, remember I showed you that. So we can adjust these. Do you see the wing nuts on the side here? Yeah, swing nuts. So that would be to adjust your strap for thicker hats or thinner hats. Okay. Um, yours are probably set pretty much in the center, probably. Yeah. Plus your eyeballs, too. Yeah. Be careful with this. Oh my god. So we're going to put that into the driver, or into the cap gauge, sorry. So you have the notch up top with the line. That's your center mark. The red mark, yeah. Yep. And if you look at your cap gauge, you'll see the big cutout fits into that slot up top there. That's like a big. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just click that all the way back. All right. On your unstructured caps there, we could probably get away with just running that as a solid piece like that. I prefer to double those up, um, which you can just fold that one in half, or you can just run it like that. Okay, fold this one in half because the logo is tiny. And then I pull this piece up, the inside of the hat. Yep, you so, can unbuckle it too if you want. It's dealer's choice on that. I usually unbuckle mine. And then we're gonna pull. The inside of the hat, it's black, so it's hard to see, but pull this up and then just stick this right. And just spit. No, put that on the, um, the hat. Oh. Group. So slide that underneath Under there. the red thing? Under yep. the red line? All right. Okay. Got this here. And, and that red line's our center mark. So this is the center if you're running mark. a whole giant group of hats, uh -huh. you want to try to get every one of them hooped up with the seam in that center mark there. Okay. Um, my trick is I'll usually hoop it a little bit to the left because when you pull that last shut, it kind of shifts the hat to the right a little bit. Okay. All right. And uh, the, I don't know, I'm gonna call it the lip. The lip goes up or up or down? Um, the lip will go over the top of the- Not the, not this piece, but that piece I pulled up. 
Um, the piece that you pulled up goes underneath the, the lip on the cap. So it goes under the red line? Yep. Alright. Okay. And then you said a little bit to the left. Okay. And then make sure it's... Now we're, we're going to bring our strap up over. Now the key here is if you get the left side in where the strap starts, you want to get it so that you're getting some of that band in there. And then remember we want it straight across the... Um, the bill of the hat down in that groove there. And as long as all of that's been tucked in nicely, the rest should fall into place. Yeah. Make sure that's straight across the bill down there as far as you can go. I gotta like fix this whole thing though, because I feel like it's not even. Well, okay, I'm about to redo this, I'm sure. But it's alright. You'll be a pro after you do these 80 hats. Shh, I better be. I feel like that is horrible. It's wrinkled. So on the unstructured caps, what you can do is you can pull down those sides a little bit, and get it straight, and you should have those little clips. And we want to get that. So it's we want to get that band or the uh, the strap on the cap loop. We want to get it as farther off on next to that bill. So I did. Here. That's as far as it goes. Do you mean like uh, up here? Yeah, you want to get it in that seam. All right, let's try this again. In the seat. My face. What would you like so, me to do with these? Now on these unstructured caps, the front of yours looks pretty straight and like pretty level. But what you can do is you can kind of pull a little bit on the side here. Uh -huh. and, get, and get it straight. You don't want to go too much. Um, and then you can clip it right to those bars that came out on the bottom of the, the hat loop there. So we'll just kind of hold that in place. Helpful with unstructured. Structured caps don't move as much, but unstructured caps, you know, they got a little bit of wiggle in there because they're unstructured. Which is why I don't love my back. It kind of keeps it a little bit straight. Not necessarily. All right, so we'll take it over to the machine. How do I take it off? Um, just pull it up, and remember when you're pulling on these hats, grab from here. So grab from the metal part, don't grab the hat itself. Got just it. kind of grab the base of that hoop. Yep. Grab metal parts, don't grab the hat. You pull it off, okay? Alright, mm. we'll take it over to the machine. Adios. Adios mio. Okay. <coughs> so on, over to the machine, and... And now you can see that there's three clips on the machine there. You see that there's two up top and one on the bottom? Yep. And then you have your center post board, kind of like we had on our cap gauge. Yeah. So turn the hat sideways, and you can put it into the machine. All right. And then you got your three clamps. So I like to give it a good push on. If you look at your cap, uh, you got those three little nubs coming off of there. I push on those because those go right um, in front of the three clips. So just push those in and make sure that every one of them is clipped. It's hard to find the third one. All right, they're clipped. All clipped. Give it a little tug. Make sure it's not everything secure. Yep. Okay, so now the hat is hooped on the machine. We need to go through the software and go through a whole ch kind of checklist type thing to make sure we have everything set up correctly so we don't mess up these machines. First, make sure you have the right hoop selected, which is red W A C F. Um, so I start off my caps usually between like 850 and 1000. Um, so we'll start this one up at 900. You can run, you know, head up to 1100 stitches, 1200 stitches per minute. Um, just gauge your design. If you're starting to lose registration, you know, slow it down a little bit. But these are designed to run fast on caps. So we'll start it off at 900 and we'll take it from there. Okay, what's next? Um, color sequence, which I think you already did. And then our next step would be the active feed. So on a regular, like, top and cap, um, we're going to run it at about 10 points active feed. Okay. This one's unstructured, it's a little thinner, but the 10 should still be a good starting point. So we'll put it at auto ten. and leave it at 10 for our minimal preset. Okay, active feed 10. Okay. Alright, so we have to flip the design 180 degrees because the hat is obviously backwards. So the design needs to be flipped. So now we got to send our X and Y position on the hoop. Um, so just look at the needle that's selected with the presser foot and just line that up. Where do you think is centered in the seam? We'll, we'll drop it's the needle lined up. It's lined up. Oh, you already nailed it. Nice work. Yeah, I'm, I'm a boss. 
Okay, so let's do it from there. I like to do a trace. And now the bottom of our design, I usually like to have about a finger up from the bill of the cap. Trace. trace yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Bottom finger. Let's go. Let's go back over to your software real quick, and we'll drop your needle and just see if it's centered up, and we can adjust our presser foot. Okay. So drop needle tools, maintenance. Then click on head timing. Head timing. And then click that bottom center button. Make sure nobody's hands are in the machine or anything like that, because it's gonna drop the needle. No hands in the machine, and it'll drop the needle. Okay. Click bottom center. Correct. All right. And now let's go back over to the hat and kind of check out where our presser foot is sitting and um, where the needles lined up. Okay. Back to the hat to see where the needles lined up. All right, so it's literally a hair to the right of the center. Like Which is fine. Okay, I think we check to make sure the needle was centered in the hat on long seam. Now we have to go put the needle back up. So, how do we do that? We're going to click the head up button. Head up. All right. Okay, so after all that, we are now done, and now it's, all that's left is to start. Okay, just to start, yep. double checking, it's an expensive machine, you know, you don't want to mess nothing up. All right, start. Okay, so that is my first hat. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video, which will probably be me making thousands of these. Bye!